Hey guys, Khalif from Cricket Fanatics Magazine here, and I'm here with Diane Khalim. Okay, so Diane, it's been a long time since we caught up or had a chat uh, ever since your move to the Titans. Let's just start with how's it been settling in in a new province, of course, and a new environment and a, a new team. Um, it's been it's been good. I can say the cricket's been really good. I think the guys have been really helpful um, with me moving and stuff like that. They've been really nice to me and. Mm -hmm. And um, they've been helping with my move a lot. Uh, Cricket-wise, it's going nicely as well. I can't complain. Yeah. Um, they've been helping me technically as well as uh, mentally as well. So I think it's been been really good. And I know that a lot of the fans out there would like to know, like, what was the main reason for your move in the first place? Um, I think it's just I think opportunity. Um, you know, everyone, every young guy is looking for opportunities and stuff yeah. like that. And you know it. I think that's that's one of the main things, you know. It was really good down here. The guys uh, down in Cape Town, the guys helped me a lot with my cricket and stuff like that, and I'm thankful for it. But um, yeah, just gotten. Hopefully, was looking for one or two more opportunities and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and I'm lucky enough to get more opportunities here, and I'm I'm thankful for that as well. Yeah. And being an all-rounder, of course, um, the Titans were crying out for that all-rounder um, in, the, in their team as well. And obviously the Proteas are also crying out for those all-rounders. We've seen the likes of Dwayne Pitoris come through, Andile Pechelkwai come through. You were always mark, earmarked as the next best thing. Um, how did you handle that pressure as a youngster growing up? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't like to. I wouldn't like to say that you know they put tags on me and whatever the case is and stuff like that. You know, I think um, just being in the moment, being where you are, and trying to do the best for your team at the time. So whether you're playing semi-pro cricket or whether you're playing franchise cricket, I think it's important to just you know keep your head down and and try and do the best that you can at that level and and um, not look too far ahead because if you if you just keep doing well slowly but surely, you know. You might just get opportunity here and there at a at a high level, higher honours, and that's everyone's goal, you know, to try and yeah. keep going up one up up a level and whatever. So, um, yeah, it's just it's but I, like like I said, it's it's just about opportunity and hopefully taking a few opportunities and, and you never know where things can go from there. Yeah, and you know, there's a, there's a there's a lot of talk at the moment about domestic cricket, etc. But I want to talk to you about lower down um, with regards to school cricket. Did you feel that there was enough? opportunity for you guys to play the longer format of the game and um, how can that improve going down the line? Um, I think uh, when I was there there was a lot of declaration cricket and stuff like that yes it was only 60 over 70 mm -hmm. overs whatever the case is but it still teaches you you know the you got to keep in the area for a touch longer than what you do obviously it's like a longer 50 over game I'd say so we I think in Cape Town I don't know about around the country but we were fortunate enough to play declaration cricket I know they do it at uh, Coke Weeks and stuff like that where the first two days is dedicated to the you know time or declaration cricket obviously it's only one day but you know uh, when I just walked into the system there was that three day and a 19 mm -hmm. stuff like that I think that was very good um, but yeah like so there's but you know once you get up a level whatever you start learning and stuff like that so you know there's enough opportunity for that and and guys can learn so yeah. yeah so us we are cricket fanatics platform we're about the fans etc there's a lot of aspiring cricketers that also watch this platform for, so is there any advice you can give to some of the younger guys that are trying to make it on in the domestic scene um i just yeah the, the only advice i can give is just you know keep sticking at what you're doing you know sometimes it feels like you you stagnating and stuff like that but i just keep working hard up you know hard work does pay off eventually you know so if you're really passionate about the game and you're really you're really keen to go up a level and stuff like that. If you think if you just keep working hard, keep your head down, I think eventually you'll you'll reap the rewards. And last day, a message to the Cricket Fanatics fans. <laughs> uh, thanks for the interview and uh, hope to see you guys soon. Cool. Thanks, man. Thank